My name is Matteo Clark. I'm a wildlife filmmaker. I studied zoology at the University of Bristol and I graduated in 2022. I want to be able to tell stories about wildlife and I want to have an impact on conservation. And for me, I found out that film was the best way. Starting my own production company gave me opportunities that I wouldn't have received otherwise. It kind of lets me have that creative control over documentaries that I'm making. My first proper wildlife documentary that I did with Wildreach Productions follows this baby spider monkey in the Osa Peninsula, the most biodiverse rainforest in the world. So our main aim with that film was to spread awareness about conservation because spider monkeys are endangered. For me, it was such a big learning experience. How much dedication you need to have for a specific shoot, the amount of patience you need to have to get that one shot you need. I always wanted to be a wildlife filmmaker, and I started doing my research as to which was the best university to go to in order to pursue this dream. I found out that most wildlife filmmakers who have worked on the biggest projects studied zoology and biology at the University of Bristol. People refer to Bristol as the Green Hollywood, home to most of the wildlife production companies in the world. The BBC Natural History Unit is here and many lecturers in the biological sciences consult for these documentaries. When I was president of the Wildlife Film Society, I made a short documentary called Bristol A Hidden Eden. Because I didn't have the opportunity to travel the world and film wildlife, I decided to just do it here. I had a small camera following foxes, deer, kingfishers, goats around Bristol to kind of showcase that there's all this wildlife around us and you don't even notice it. For anyone who wants to follow a similar career path to what I have, I would really recommend joining the Wildlife Film Society but also engaging with the people at the Biological Sciences School. So many people have got connections in the wildlife film industry. They were able to point me in the right direction as to who I was supposed to contact and also give me that support that I needed. When you're filming wildlife, you need to have that understanding of animal behaviour and having that experience from Bristol has definitely given me an edge.